So we've just set the cooldown. Now we just actually after this, we just want to set the uh, item stack that's in the slot. We want just to decrease it by one. So that'll be this dot decrease stack size uh, stack zero by one. So that's just going to decrease it by one. And then outside here, this is what's going to happen every tick. So. The cooldown isn't zero. Um, now we're just going to add stuff to it. So this dot current RF plus equals increase per tick. So that's just going to add 20 RF per tick to it. But there's a problem with this. At the moment, when we close our world, it won't increase. It will reset. Which we don't want. So, cool thing that we can do this to mark dirty. Now, I, I didn't know about this before, but mark dirty basically says you need to save this. So, like, say when you use something in the inventory, um, it automatically is set to be dirty. That means that it needs to be saved. But, say if we're changing numbers in that lot, Unless we say mark dirty, it will just reset when we boot the world back up, which isn't what we want. So we just want to mark it as dirty. So that should be all in our tile entity. I've got the normal container stuff here. Um, yep. Now, in a GUI, this is what we're going to be using in our GUI. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to actually get a GUI mouse. And I'm just calling this mouse, and it's equal to a new GUI mouse. And that's the width and the height. So, um, on width and the height. So, width, height, the texture X size. So, that's X size. Texture Y size. That's Y size. Mouse X and mouse Y. And that's just generated our thing. So, um, what we're going to do, we want to make it so that, um, first we want to actually draw a progress bar. So, first thing that we want to do is actually add a progress bar. So, progress bar, uh, bar is equal to a new progress bar. So, the minimum value, so that's the one that's going to be lower. So, for us, it's going to be this dot tile entity dot uh, get field and let's just check here where's the get field method um, we want to get the current RF so that's zero um, then we want to get the max RF so that's what the max value is so this dot t dot get field one and then the type is progress bar dot and as is going to be um, top to bottom so I'm recording I know so that should set up our progress bar so now we want to bind the texture so to do this we want to do this dot MC dot get texture manager dot bind texture and it's going to be a new resource location and it's just going to be BOE colon uh, textures slash GUI slash container slash uh, redstone underscore generator dot png so that's pretty much like what we've done up here we just bind the texture but we actually want to draw a uh, textured model rectangle to which will go on top so um I'll just show you my texture to begin with. So if we just locate my texture that I've made, this texture right here, as you can see, I've actually got this blank thing. So this will be over the top of it automatically. So what we actually want to do is uh, we want to get the progress. So int pro progress level and that's equal to bar dot get progress level 
Now, um, this is the progress indicator width. So the width of this is um, 20. So the width of this is 20. And the height is 51. So let's just change the height to 51. And that will generate our progress level. Now we need to actually draw it. So um, if you're doing top to bottom or bottom to top, you will be doing something like this. So we want to this dot draw textured model rect, and it's this one. So the x and y coordinates of it. So it's going to be right here. So one forty-five twenty, one forty-five, one forty-five by twenty. The texture. X and texture Y um, is I think we need the bottom left so that's 180 71 so 180 71 and now this is the um, size so the width and the height so I don't know why it's done that so the width and the height so the width for us is gonna stay the same so the width is obviously so the width is going to be be what we set up here which is 20 and the height of this is in fact going to be 51 subtract progress level and then that will actually draw a bar on it but like we can't really tell how much RF is in our um, actual thing so I'm going to actually put like a hover text on it. So I want to do an if statement and if mouse dot get actual mouse x dot. So we're getting the actual mouse x is bigger than. So checking the mouse x is bigger than. Um, bigger than 144. Because then or equal to and mouse dot get actual mouse mouse dot get actual mouse x is smaller than or equal to and then it's this one right here and that's one six six and we're also gonna check if mouse dot get actual mouse y is bigger than or equal to uh, 19 and mouse dot get actual mouse y is smaller than or equal to 72 so that that will just that's just testing whether it's your mouse is in the right area so then now what we want to do is this dot draw hovering text now this wants us to take in a list of strings so uh, just in the if statement so list of strings uh, text as equal to a new array list of string so that's just our array list and it's java.util and it's changes text here and this will be mouse dot get actual x and mouse dot get actual y and just want to text dot add and we're going to add to this and all it's going to be is rf is going to be the amount of RF. So um, it's this dot te dot get field zero, and going to say RF out of. And then I'm going to get this dot te dot get field one. So the max RF, and then this should all now work. 
So, let's just run our game. And fingers crossed, everything will now work. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So, yeah, go check them out.